there. This is the beginning of uh, the chapter on set theory. Um, heads up. I'm sorry if you like the little picture of me in the corner, but right now I do not have a laptop. I'm working in the classroom on my desktop and it does not have a camera. All I have is my document camera. And just be told I focused it on me and no, no, it's way too close up. It looks weird. So um, I guess you'll just have to trust that this is my voice. All right, so to get started, you should have um, a strip of paper with all of these pretty shapes on it. And the shape, we got different shapes, we got different colors, we got different things written on them. Okay. And it's the same one that's there, but it, this one's pretty in color. And I would ask you to cut them out. Now, you can be completely lazy, like me. I just cut them out like that. You don't have to follow the lines. If you want to follow the lines and make them look pretty, because that makes you happier and joy, but not required. All right, so we are gonna start with some basic definitions. This chapter is really different than um, finance. Finance, the questions were pretty straightforward, but the formulas were a little scary. By the time we got on to, um, oh, what was it? Making payments and annuities, those formulas were pretty, they were long and you had to be careful, okay? The formulas here are easy, but you its you have to watch your wording, I guess it's the easiest way to do it. And there's a bunch of vocabulary that you need to learn. So here we go. So it's a cut out the shapes, check. So here's our first definition. A set is a collection of distinguishable objects. Oh, I just realized I'm repeating myself there. So probably on your copy, you won't have that written out twice. So here's our set. Now, when you're talking about sets in math, they are marked with these cool brackets. Okay, and those are called set notation brackets. And if yours end up looking something like that, that's completely fine. That's what mine look like most of the time, but because this is tight, they look pretty. Um, so set notation brackets, and there's all kinds of other sets. Um, you could talk about baseball teams and even numbers and frogs and types of chickens, uh, different First Nations in Saskatchewan, uh, students in different classes, whatever you want. So how about types of dogs, um, favorite types of music. These are not the only answers. Uh, odd numbers. Those are all sets. Pretty much if you write types of and then put something in the blank, you're going to be good. Okay, so an element is an object in a set. So for example, there is the red circle. It is an element in our set. Here is the triangle, it's a blue triangle, or you could say it's a triangle that's labeled E6. That's an element in our set. Okay, there's another one, teardrop D5. So, blue triangle. So let's call it BT, because we're lazy. Math is lazy, we always want to find shortcuts for things. Um, shape D5. I'm just going to go through my, uh oh, see, I got to be careful because there are two of them labeled D5, so I better call it D5 teardrop. Or I could have called it yellow teardrop. That doesn't matter. Uh, e, five, T. I'm making those up as we go along. Because as long as you give me the definition and the shorthand you use for it, it's right. Uh, I don't know. Red rectangle. Call it RR. 
there we go. To write that mathematically, we would say red circle is an element of S. So this crazy symbol here, oh, we should put this at the top. This means it's a set, and this means it is an element. But that shouldn't be surprising because if you remember from last semester when we talked about X is an element of real numbers and Y is an element of real numbers. It's the same thing. It's just we're using it with sets now. All right, how many elements are there in set S? Well, here's my setup here. Rather than counting these, because I cut them apart now, it's easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 elements. All right. Okay, some random questions. Name two elements of a set of animals with four legs. You can name any animal with four legs. So I'm going to say a dog, a cow, a horse, whoopsies, an iguana, but I can't spell iguana. Oh, wait. Okay, these pens aren't as cool as I thought they were. I went and bought fancy erasable pens. Never mind. Horse. All right. Name three elements of the set of fish. Okay, well, name three fish. We got this. It's not any specific one. So salmon, tuna, yeah, shark. Pike, pickerel, jack. Uh, goldfish, guppy, Siamese fighting fish. It's all good. All right. The universal set U is the same as the sample space, and it's all the elements that you're working with. So in this one, my set S and my U are exactly the same thing. These are all the different shapes I get to work with. And Ta-da. I guess that's a very short video. Have a great day.